Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I'm on the go, but I wanted to share with you this update. It's iOS 10.3 Beta 2, and Apple released this to developers today. Now, the public beta will probably be out soon, usually within a day or so, but right now it's just for developers as of the time of this recording. Now, this particular update was pretty large. Let me go into my photos here, and I saved a screen capture, and you'll see it's 739.3 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. You'll see this is build 14E5239E, and this particular build is basically just bug fixes. They haven't really done a whole lot other than that. There's nothing on the surface, actually, within this build that you'll be able to see. Now, the few things that they did before is actually more major than it sounds, even though it's under the hood. Basically, they replaced the entire file system with APFS. And I'll leave a link to the Beta 1 version so you can take a look at it and see all the different changes that I go over there. That video is about six minutes long or so, and I try and cover everything that they updated. In this one, it's just bug fixes. There's things that they fixed, like the iCloud analytics being turned on all the time. That's not turned on. There's bug fixes here and there. And I actually had an issue with GPS. You can see my GPS location is on all the time right now. It is going off now, but before it would stay on and, and really take my battery down very fast. And that hopefully is fixed this time around. It seems that it is, but it's hard to say without using it for a few days. Stability wise, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's okay. It feels pretty fast. At first it actually stuttered here and there, but I did some benchmarks just to kind of compare for you. So let's go back and you'll see this was beta one. In beta one, You'll see this was taken on January 30th. Beta 1 was 33.52 for the single core, 57.05 for the multi-core. If I go back, you'll see it improved a little bit. And this was taken today. So we get a little bit of a bump there. This really means nothing as far as daily use and real world use. And then again, Antutu, we've got 152.788. And if we go a few here, you'll see it went up by about 8,000. So it's pretty good as far as that goes. So that part, it increased quite a bit. Now, when I first restarted it, things stuttered around a little bit here and there, but right now it seems to be pretty stable and nice and fast. I really haven't had any issues whatsoever, and it's working really well. So that's all there is really to mention in this. There's nothing that you're going to see. You can't go find anything really that's too different. There might be little tweaks here and there to the UI as they often do, but I haven't found anything obvious or, or glaring. So let me know if you've found anything. Now, if you'd like to have a wallpaper featured, I always leave a link to these in the description below. But if you'd like to have a wallpaper featured, send it to me on Twitter. I usually will respond to your messages there. And then I'll give you a shout out if you gave me this wallpaper. This one again comes from Cameron and Connor, uh, some fans that have been following for a while and they sent this one over. So let me know what you found if you found anything new. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.